two things. One is that it is adulterated with visible fats, and another is it is adulterated with uh, animal fats. Animal fats adulteration, depending on these values, S values. So it is lard, which is a big fat. Then palm oil and beef tallow. Then fish oil included. Grape seed, lean seed, and all these things. It's like a concoction of all these, and, and the results are abnormally bad, abnormally low. Like the pure, pure ghee, pure milk fat, the pure milk fat should have reading between 95.68 and 104.32. That is the range a pure milk fat should have. But unfortunately, this sample. Almost all the samples have values around 20, which means that the samples are, are the milk or the ghee supplied is highly, highly adulterated, not even close to their range. It is highly, it is, uh, maybe one fifth of the lowest range is a uh, very, very abnormally. Shocking reports. So then we stop the supplies immediately of that person, of that, of that uh, supplier, and we started a procedure for blacklisting as well as for uh, penalizing the supplier. Then we formed an expert committee on the ghee supplies, how to improve the supplies, and how to improve the tender conditions so that we get good quality people. And also, how to strengthen our internal systems so that we don't have this problem in future again. So, as per that, we called for one tender as per the interim report of the committee, and then we found good suppliers. Then uh, we started getting supplies from them. They are found to be their samples were tested. They are found to be good within the limits, and then uh, sensory parameters also are good. Then, as per the final recommendation of the expert committee, we called for the tender, and the tender is under finalization. Uh, then, uh, as per the recommendation of this uh, expert committee, they recommended that we should have our own internal lab. Until that time, we have to set up our own internal lab. We should use the services of outside lab, outside NABL accredited lab. That is the recommendation. So, NADB, we have been working with them, and uh, they have kind enough to donate equipment which will not cost more than 75 lakhs to us, and then uh, probably it should come by December, January. And then they'll come and get it installed. And uh, this issue will have a permanent solution in future, will not have. Till the time, we keep sending samples to outside labs. And then we have a set up a sensory, a sensory lab inside with a trained manpower. This lab, uh, I mean, uh, the personnel in the lab, they are trained in CFTRA, CFTRA Mysore. And they test, on, uh, test the samples on a hedonic, called, uh, it is called hedonic scale. They, they rate from 0 to 9. Anything above seven is acceptable. So uh, the lab is already established, started working. So we will have no problem of uh, gear adulteration in future. We have full uh, plan in place and then we are implementing.